types of indices now how these indices are formed how these indices are structured and maintained there have been various methods we'll see one by one the first method is called as the equal weighted index now if we take an index for example sensex or nifty they have they have been following a method called as free float market cap weighted index but in case of equal weighted index all the components in an index will have an equal weightage say a uh, index has say 30 stocks all those 30 stocks will have the same weightage irrespective of the size of the company irrespective of the company share price all the stocks will have the same weightage so based on these weightages the index value will be calculated the second method price weighted as the name indicates the weightage is given based on the share prices so if a share is priced at 1000 rupees and another share is priced at 300 rupees the 1000 rupee share will get more weightage than the 300 rupee share so higher the share price the more is the weightage lower is the share price the lesser the weightage so that is about the price weighted index the third one market cap weighted index now this market capital is nothing but total number of shares into current market price now this market capital denotes the size of the company it denotes the total size so when i give weightage based on the market capital naturally the bigger company in terms of market capital will get a higher weightage reliance industries tcs so these companies are very big in terms of market capital so they might get higher weightage tata motors icic bank are relatively smaller companies they will get a smaller weightage so market cap weighted indices will give weightage based on their total market capital or their total size now the fourth one free float market cap weighted index now free float means it is non promoter holding so in any company we have two two classification i mean two uh, class of investors promoters and non promoters so promoter is a person who has who has started this company and running it has a major share for example promoter might have 60 percentage in a company the remaining 40 percentage is the non promoter holding in that company now if you consider which portion of this uh, shares are trading in the market it is only the non promoter portion will be trading because the promoter does not trade daily or regularly in their shares in the stock market the promoter keeps his shares that's all he doesn't trade so the non promoter holding is the only portion which gets traded in the market so that portion is freely floating in the market so that is why it is called as free float so if i consider only the free float portion of the market so that is called as the free float market cap weighted index so any company which has a higher free float will get the maximum weightage so these are all the four methods that can be used for constructing the indices but the most popular method right now used in most of the indices all around the world is the free float market cap weighted index sensex and nifty are free float market cap weighted indices